Oh, thanks, thanks everyone for, for coming by. And we came by to, to make sure, and then we toured some of the, the devastation uh, in the Ottawa region. Um, it's, it's heartbreaking, to say the least. We're here to reassure everyone in the region that's been affected that we'll spare no expense. We'll do whatever it takes to make sure we get people back on their feet. And I want to thank all the first responders. Mayor, you've done an incredible job organizing this. Our ministers, our caucus, our team of all-star MVPs, as I always say, and they're true all-stars. Uh, we appreciate all, all the work you've done from the EMS to the fire to the police. Uh, never seen coordination so well organized like I've seen here. It's absolutely amazing. And as I've told other groups, people from all around Ontario want to help, want to support. Uh, to the point, there's there's so many volunteers, I heard that they couldn't utilize them all. So it's, it's amazing when, when communities help communities, when neighbors help neighbors, and we'll get everyone back on their, on their feet. I'm going to uh, hand it over to Minister Clark, and uh, he'll be able to say a few words. Thanks, uh, thanks, Premier, Your Worship, uh, members of uh, Cabinet, MPPs, and, and obviously our first responders. Um, uh, as most of you know, the Premier uh, and I, we activated uh, the uh, Disaster Recovery Assistance for Ontarians program uh, last uh, last evening. Uh, it's very important uh, for us to uh, to have that program available, and I want to thank. Uh, uh, His Worship and on all all your staff and all the frontline staff for the work that uh, you've done with uh, with our government and, and the assistance. Um, the, the reason we uh, we activated the program, uh, typically uh, one of the uh, one of the suggestions that we've had is is that sometimes the government doesn't activate it early enough. So we wanted to make sure that it was uh, that it was activated. The other pledge that uh, that both the premier and I and and uh, our uh, the MPPs. We want to say to uh, to the people that uh, that provide application, we're going to do whatever we can to make sure those applications are dealt with on a timely basis. Because that's the other the other issue that we hear time and time again is that sometimes it takes too long to process applications. So so we're going to try to pull out all the stops to make sure that uh, that that, uh, that that happens and that people are be uh, be able to uh, supplement. Uh, their insurance on those essential items to get them back into their home. So, and I think uh, your worship. Uh, thanks, Minister and uh, Premier. Uh, first and foremost, uh, it is very much appreciated that you have taken time to be here. We talked yesterday, and you uh, asked which would be the most appropriate day, and we said today because uh, we were uh, really in full operation recovery mode yesterday, and it's been all hands on deck. And uh, your presence here means a lot to the people. We saw the reaction when uh, you, you came, got out of your car. Uh, it's a big deal to have you here, and we appreciate it very much. Thank you. Merci. Premier. Yeah, I, I think right now it's a little premature to uh, try to put a dollar figure on it, but we'll be working with uh, the municipalities that were affected and we'll, we'll have a, a better idea over the next uh, few days once the insurance adjusters come in and uh, they actually get a handle on it and the other areas. As far as the emergency recovery program, uh, yourself or, or Minister Clark, can you give us a bit more detail for homeowners that are wondering what will this actually cover? Sure. Sure. Thanks. That's a, that's a great question. So, the ministry staff are, are on the ground here now and have been working with uh, with the municipality uh, and the operations center. Uh, I'm hopeful we're still doing the mapping of uh, of the locations that are, are going to be included in the program. But I, I'm confident that uh, that we should be able to have that online as early as uh, as tomorrow. Typically, the program, as I said earlier, supplements uh, existing insurance claims, and it's essentially to, to get people back into into 
their homes. Uh, you know, it would be for those uh, necessity items, uh, uh, required appliances, uh, uh, repairs, uh, to, to be able to get people back. The other issue that I think is important is that the fact that uh, financial hardship and low income will be will be given priority. And in fact, uh, people can apply to the ministry uh, for up to 70% of uh, repairs in advance uh, if they're if they're. If they're if they need that financial assistance, and then to deal with receipts and be able to get compensated uh, afterwards. So uh, we, we wanted to, to, to give that signal last night. The ministry staff are here, and again, I'm hoping that the affected areas will be online and being able to be mapped so we can, uh, we can get moving. Any other questions? You've, uh, you mentioned the disaster recovery assistance, but beyond that, what's the next step for the province in addressing this? Well, again, I'll, I'll let the minister uh, answer that. So, so the, there's another uh, program, uh, the Municipal Disaster Recovery Assistance Plan, or MDRAP, that uh, we would de we would work closely with the, with the municipality on. Again, it's it's very early days, so it's something that uh, we're going to continue to talk to uh, uh, Mayor Watson and and uh, and Ottawa. But uh, in terms of the the one for uh, for Ontarians, we wanted to to get out of the gate, and uh, that's why the premier and I made the announcement. To last night. No, I, you know, what, what I understand, the federal government's been uh, a great partner. They've been reaching out to uh, our province and the municipality. And when, when it comes to state of crisis or a disaster that we've seen here, it's amazing how everyone comes together. You know, forget the political stripes, they're out the window. We're a community, we're Team Ontario, and uh, we work together. And whatever it takes from the federal or provincial or municipal governments, uh, we're working together. That, that's what a, that's what amazed me. Uh, when, when we were getting a briefing call, we're getting them every few hours, is how organized everyone was. It was, it was, it's amazing. I'm so proud of everyone and, and how they work together. And as the mayor said, uh, not just the first responders that are absolutely incredible with the EMS and the police and the fire, but all the other people, be it the Hydro One or Hydro Ottawa or the, the ministries, people cleaning the, you know, chopping the trees and fixing the roads and, and the water. Uh, they're, they're just as important as everyone else, people delivering food and uh, the private sector. Uh, it's, it's absolutely incredible when a crisis happens, how quickly communities come together. It's, uh, it's really amazing. So I just want to wish everyone all the best. Our, our prayers are with them. And I just want to say God bless each and every person that's been affected. We're there for you. Anything you need, I mean anything you need, you call us and we'll be there.